Good afternoon guys, welcome to another video. It's about half past one now, Wednesday the 18th of January. Back out again, uh, if you saw the last video I mentioned that this little river was dropping lovely. Well, it's dropped to a cracking height. I did check the height today on the gauge and I thought that would be a lovely height and most probably a lovely colour and it is. It's a fantastic colour, it's about a foot of visibility. So I've grabbed the trotting gear. Excuse me if I'm a little bit breathy and a little bit of um, coughing, wheezing a little bit, but uh, still suffering from this pneumonia a little bit. Feeling better every day, so uh, going the right way. And it's uh, it's proper parky today, I have to say. Not ideal to be coming out today, but this river just is too good to ignore, to be honest. And as, I'm, as I say, I'm feeling better every day, so I thought I'd get out. So, trotting gear. I've got my ever-faithful Dawa Tournament Pro. My Dawa 125M close face reel. I'll stick all the details of all this gear down below in the description so you can go and have a look at your leisure. Also got on there a Drake alloy stem stick float. This tends to stay set up to be honest. Um, and in winter, guys, it stays set up with a 3.2 gram float on there because I will be fishing. My favourite, mash bread. It's starting to go a bit mouldy as you can see. <laughs> mash bread with bread on the hook. It's as simple as that. It's all I've bought with me today. I've come to a different stretch. Stretch I've not fished for quite at least 12 months. I thought I'd have a go here. There's a few swims. Sort of reasonably familiar with it. I've probably fished here in total maybe four times uh, over the last few years. But it's a nice run here. It's a bit of fast water as you can probably see in front of me here. And then it just slows down, opens out under that tree there. So I'm going to have a start here I think. We'll run down this fast water. There may well be some chub under this cover here. We'll feed the mash bread and nothing's doing here or when this goes quiet we'll move a little bit further down. So we'll start up here and we'll effectively be baiting further down as well. That's the plan. Right enough waffle. Let's get on with it. Now as I was a good boy all year Father Christmas has bought me one of these bait pouches. I think it's actually a boily pouch really. But it's waterproof so I can use that for my mashed bread. That's the plan. I'm going to strap that on, fill it with mashed bread and get cracking. Looking forward to this. Not tried for absolutely ages but all the rivers are now dropping, getting back into something like decent form. The Avon's back at a reasonable level again but it's a uh, it's proper parky today. It's uh, just minus one when I got out of the car. So yes, <laughs> proper cold. But hopefully, it won't bother the fish too much. Hopefully it won't have hit the water temperature. Just yet, we've just had a couple of days of cold weather so far. I'm just hoping it hasn't, as I say, hasn't hit the water temperature. Knock that down. It's, uh, it could be in trouble if it has. It's this river a few days ago and it was tough going. I fished a familiar stretch because it's the first time I've been out for, for quite a while. I fished a familiar stretch and it was, it was hard going, I have to say. But we'll, as I say, we'll, we'll perhaps spend five minutes putting a bit of feed in here. See if we can tempt any chub out perhaps from under this cover. It's a bit slack over there, so we might be able to tempt them out. And then we'll, uh, we'll have a crack. Uh, it's pretty banging through here, as you can see. Well, that's okay. The river's not particularly wide. I could probably touch the, uh, the foliage on the other side with my 15-foot rod. So I'll certainly be able to hold the float back as it goes down. I'm sure there'll be some, some chub tucked away under that cover over there. Just hopefully we can tempt tonight. Got plenty of mashed bread with me. I mashed up a couple of loaves. It's uh, and sat in the fridge for a couple of weeks. Well, I've not been well, three weeks. It's not to go a bit mouldy, but I don't think it'll bother the chub. Gives it a bit of an aroma. But we'll keep this going in for a few minutes. I say it's banging through. We may be able to drop down a little bit further and perhaps fish that slack bit between those two bushes over there if we don't get any results here. And then, as I say, we'll drop a little bit further down again. So we'll perhaps give this swim an hour, all told, and then 
we'll move upstream a few more swims to have a go at i did catch a nice roach on this stretch as well so uh there's always a chance of that wonderful right let's keep feeding we'll get this float running through let's see if we can nick a bite early doors i'm going to keep on the move today as i say i'm not going to Stick it out in any particular swim. Keep moving. Right. Blimey, almost stood too far, too far over it for the length of this rod. Let's see how that goes. Just trundle that through. Holding this black back very hard, so I'll probably be able to feel the bites, to be honest. If we get any. Just run down to that one at the bottom there. Right. Well, actually, uh, yeah. Actually, stood a little bit too far over. Right, we didn't trip under, so we'll go a bit deeper. Well, nothing as of yet. So I'm a little bit surprised at. I thought perhaps we'd have had a a knock or two by now. We're well, in another five minutes, I think, then perhaps I'll have a move. Nice to get the float to run round under those trees, but I'm not sure that's possible. Could perhaps have a go from a bit further downstream. A bit too overgrown there. Right, I think we'll have 10 minutes here. Fish on below this. This tree as it widens out. Water sort of slows down. Back eddies and it's just lovely as it runs down there and down towards that tree. So I think we'll, uh, we'll have a go here for 10 minutes. I can run the float quite a long way here and it's a, it's a lot more steady, the water as well. So the chubba sat, perhaps just down there. Right, let me drag it under there, I think. Just about. Yeah, we're a bit too deep there. Of course, the good thing is this uh, feed has been washing through down to here as we're moving downstream. Uh, so we've been baiting up for ourselves. So many eddies and currents and swirls. <laughs> It'll, uh, the float will take a different, different path through every single time. Which is what we want, really. Search out the swim. Yes, this time it's pulled right into the near bank. Where there's some steadier water. Just pulling under there, I think it's a bit shallower. at the bottom <laughs> it's, a, it's a fish right against the near bank <laughs> well there you go shows you done it just 
dropped under. As it has done a few times. Oh, of course he's gonna get under my feet or do his best to. You know what this is, judging by what he's doing. Not the biggest chub in the world, but a chub nonetheless on the float as well. Wonderful. <laughs> Fab. Come on, blimey. You're not giving up. God, what a scrap. These reeds right by my feet. I wonder if we can sneak him in. Oh, it's not a bad one. Wonderful. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, it was sat right on the near bank. <laughs> well, that's cracking. Well, there we are. It's about that. <laughs> cracking start. Great stuff. Right, we shall keep him down here in this big deep landing net. Just for 10 minutes. See if we can winkle another one out. Fantastic. Well, I'm really pleased with that. Chub on the float, fab. What a scrap off a, a modest fish as well. Wonderful. Go on, perched rather precariously here. <laughs> Very steep bank. All right. Fingers crossed we can get another one. Right, I think I'm going to move about another 10 metres downstream. Just fish the bottom of this run and then we'll perhaps have a move on. So as I say, we'll uh, we'll fish the bottom of the run from here. Fish down to under that tree. Give it perhaps 10 or 15 minutes, and then we'll have a little move. Keep on our toes. All right. <laughs> the chubs down here in the net, splashing away. It's a lovely deep landing net though, so it's great for keeping fishing just for a few minutes. So they don't go out there and scare all their mates. Run down there, lovely that time. We haven't had a bite, but it's run down there, lovely. There we go. We're in We're under that tree. <laughs> trying to get over the other side. I'm trying to get on the near bank. <laughs> I think he's particularly big. But certainly. Very welcome. Oh, 
That's cracking. <laughs> cracking. Got him. <laughs> Fantastic. Wonderful stuff. Well, there we are. No monster, but uh, very happy with that. That's wonderful. And we even had the drone up when, uh, <laughs> when we had a bite. Fab. Been asked quite a lot, actually, about the drone I started using. And uh, who, who's here filming me with the drone, etc., etc. So I am going to do a little video just on the drone that I've got. Wonderful bit of kit. But uh, if you are wondering who films me, it's me. <laughs> it's a great bit of kit. Got all sort of, well, sort of height sensors on it and it's GPS as well. So basically I can, I can get it in the sky and we'll take my hands off the controls and it, it stays wherever it's put. So I just sort of put it up and uh, do some fishing. <laughs> and if I'm very lucky like that, I get a bite when, <laughs> when it's up. So it's only got about half an hour of run time, something like that. So yes, as I say, I will do a, We'll do a video about that soonish. For now, let's see if we can get another one. Perhaps we want a little bit bigger. And that one was, that bite right under that tree. We'll try and let this run right the way through again. It does quite often come on the inside. That one sort of stayed a lot further out and right under the middle of that tree. This one again is, is coming near bank. And it's necessarily a bad thing though. <laughs> well, if we hadn't done the swimming, catching fish, I think that's probably done it. Pulled some reeds out the bottom, got stuck in the tree. So uh, I think we'll call it a day of that. We'll... Uh, We'll knock on the head here and uh, go for a bit of a wander, I think. Right, we'll get these two fellas back. Thank you very much, chaps. There you go. Wonderful. Right. Let's go and try a bit further upstream. So, guys, next swim. A little run through here. We have a back eddy in front of that sort of tree where there's all those detritus collected against it. Where I've had some nice chub and roach in the past. And as I say, I've not fished here that many times. I have had some nice fish from over there. I think we'll fish here for now and then we'll drop in just below this snag, this tree. I'll fish a little run down to underneath that next tree there we always like to fish upstream down because once again we're feeding the swim we're feeding that swim down there if there's not fish in here taking the bait we're feeding the swim down there right are they going to mess about in here i think we'll get cracking i'm guessing there'll be some fish over in that slack over there that's my guess we can run this float through run it past run it perhaps into that little slack not really any swim here <laughs> just to knock all the uh you know what they are cow parsley or something now reeds to get to the water right see what we can do in here <laughs> hopefully not sink i think if this water was up Another inch or two, it'd be, uh, it'd be a bit flooded here where I'm stood. Right, start off about three foot deep. Let that run around, see what happens. Well, not a lot going on here. Let's give it another five minutes and then perhaps have a move. We can always come back. Might be. Uh, Right, idea is to come back and fish here when it's starting to get dark. Let's have a little move 
bit further down and then come back. Right, next up, let's have a little run down to this tree here. Looks, uh, looks cracking to be honest. Sure, there'll be some trouble right in here. God, blimey, this nice place is really cold. <laughs> oh, I've been sat in this bucket. I'm going to say the ambient temperature's uh, barely above freezing. In fact, I don't think it is. It's not above freezing. I think we're not particularly interested over there, so let's hope they're interested in here. <laughs> Right, here we go. Just drop that in there. And it trundle off downstream. Oh, get deeper and deeper and deeper. So we're dragging under. And hopefully we'll do a bit of dragging under from some fish. I'm not going to run too much past where that tree is because if we look anything down there it's going to head straight for that tree and we're not going to be able to stop it. Well that's gone under straight away. And that looked like a bite to be honest. It didn't look like the bottom, it just shot under. So that's a good start. Oh that wind is picking up. Coming off my back here though so it's not too bad. Tempted to get down there, but I'm only a few inches from, <laughs> from getting wet if I do that. I think we might certainly be uh, out of the wind a bit more. Line control would be a bit easier. Well, that looked like a bite as well. Pull this back a bit. If they're not bites, then it's very shallow here. Yeah, that's gone under, but that looked more like the bottom. Perhaps it is very shallow. Right, I think we're going to get a bit, a bit close to the water here, get out this wind. Line control a bit easier. Yeah, we'll get down here a bit. It's a bit better. A bit more... Uh, Treacherous as well. That's the excitement, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think it's very deep in there, but I still wouldn't like to fall in. It's probably four foot deep and very cold. I've not actually done the water temperatures thinking about it today. We'll perhaps do it for reference. Did it a few days ago, I think it was about 6.3. Well, there's no way on earth it's anything like that today. We haven't been to up to uh, up, up at six degrees since since I last went out. Air temperature, so uh, there's no way the water's still at six degrees. Oh yeah. There we go. This feels like half decent fish. Well, been at it probably twenty minutes in here before we had a bite. But it feels like a half decent fish. Stop him getting into that tree. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, the line's singing, it's wind. <laughs> oh, that's a nice fish. 
Fantastic. Come on, chap. Oh, should have weighed in a bit more. There we go. He <laughs> cracking. I knew this swim looked good for a bite. Absolutely knew it. Right, we'll give him a rest for a minute. We'll have a look at him. Yeah, took that right underneath that tree next to me here. Just while he's uh, having a minute. Just getting his breath back. I'll uh, just put the thermometer in the water. Yeah, it's down in, in sort of three or four days. It's down two degrees. 4.2 I've got on there. Which, yeah... <laughs> chilly I'll have a look at him over the net but yeah there's a nice fish it's about that wonderful stuff that's absolutely cracking cracking well treat winkle another one out we'll get him down there there's a bit of bit of flow a bit of oxygen for him cracking that's uh, that's brilliant Be chuffed with that well Hopefully we can have another one. But that certainly warmed me up a bit. It's getting a bit cold, I have to say. I don't think I'll stick it out too long, to be honest. It is chilly. Wind has certainly got a bite to it. I'm sort of down almost, almost out of it. But uh, it's picked up as well a bit. So it's not the warmest, and I'm not going to push my chest. Certainly don't want another bout of pneumonia. No, that's it. That's it. I'm going to call it a day there. Could probably fish for another 15 minutes, be able to see this float, but I've had enough. I've had enough. Caught some fish, got out, got some fresh air. Really, really enjoyed that, I have to say. And as I say, I'm not going to push it. I'm not going to push it at all. Right, let's get this fella back. He's been uh, in the net for, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes perhaps. So, uh, let him go. There he goes. <laughs> Straight down here, under my feet. Fab. Well, as I say, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. It's been... Uh, been really really enjoyable to get the trot here out once again and uh, i think within a few days we'll be able to get it out on the haven as well of course this river is going to continue to drop so i may pop to perhaps one or two of the other stretches on this river but i do have i just bought another ticket um on the haven that started first of january uh it's a club i've not been in for a few years i tend to rotate my tickets around because there's just too many tickets to, to fish them all in the same year so i rotate them around and I decided to have a go at this club this year. There's plenty of water in my area. So, uh, yeah, I think perhaps we'll try and get on one of their stretches um, later on in the week or at the weekend, just depending, as I say, how quickly the Avon drops. Alternatively, we can get back on here. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that half as much as I did. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your fantastic support. And I'll see you all again very soon.